Philip to Evelyn, Friday, May 7, 1943, 8.15 a.m. My sweet, sorry I couldn't find time to write yesterday, but I was never so busy. We are reorganizing the company and now have 76 men where we had 45. Then everyone is rushing to get insurance and increase insurance already in effect. I'll bet I wrote $100,000 worth of insurance yesterday. Boy, if I could only do that as a civilian, we'd be able to take a year's vacation on the commission alone. I expect to be even more busy today, sweet, so I thought I'd dash off a few lines of explanation before I get to work. Honestly, I'm so busy I don't know which way to turn, but I love it. However, I am CQ today, and we'll have plenty of time tonight to write. Meant to tell you in my last three letters to send the gum which Harry was good enough to buy. I'm chewing all the time. I find it has a way of dispelling monotony and quieting jumpy nerves. More later, baby. I love you so very much. Your Phil. P.S. Please excuse the scribble. In a hurry. Second letter from Philip to Evelyn, dated Friday, May 7th, 1943, 9.50 p.m. My sweet, just finished cleaning up, and what a story of weariness and monotony and sheer drudgery can be told in two words, cleaning up. I started to sweep at 7.45 p.m. Then I mopped the whole office, the steps, the lieutenant's office, the latrine, and then washed the six sinks and the six toilets and the urinal. Very unglamorous work and very hard work, and damned if I do it for anyone but the U.S. Army, and only for them because they ask me in a nice way. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Before that, I had worked steadily all day from 8 a.m. to 12 noon and then from 1 p.m. till 7.45 without stopping on the insurance applications. The hell of it is, I still have more to do than, I start, than when I started this morning. Oh, me. Received your letter of Wednesday this morning and was distressed to hear that you are flat after just receiving your check. I'm sending you $10, sweet, and wish very much that it could be more, but I'm leaving myself only seven bucks which you'll admit is little enough, especially since I have to pay a cleaning bill of a dollar tomorrow and 50 cents for laundry Monday. I squared up with red, and while I expect to go into debt before the month is out, I'll try to keep it as low as possible. When I think of what 15 bucks was to be used for, I could yell. I'm just putting the days together end on end like stringing beads, only the end of the string is not yet in sight. There are just no prospects whatever of getting home no matter how far ahead I look, and it's killing me just contemplating it. But I think I hear someone saying, this is war. I guess that makes it easier to bear and generally hunky-dory, huh, sweet? Glad to hear that you had a really good time at Edda's shower. It's high time you got out to enjoy yourself. You're right, Chippy, about my having a good time if I were there, but I don't think I would have seen much of the show for looking at you. I'm so hungry just for the sight of you. As for the blank of you, I'm just plain starved. No kidding. As a matter of fact, it's gotten so bad that I find myself lying awake and dreaming. Guess what? When I go to bed. This hasn't happened to me. Page two, since I was a kid, and it's a bad sign. Get me a crying towel, baby. I'm running over again. For your edification, Red's girlfriend wrote to say that he isn't going to be a proud papa just yet. The weather today was the craziest to date. The sun shone brightly in a cloudless sky at least seven times between spells of rain that were well deserving the name of downpour. The lieutenant told us today that we were on a 24-hour day till further notice. 
This means that all work that must be accomplished in any given day must be done that day if we have to work 24 hours to do it. And the miners gripe about a few measly dollars and over a few measly hours. We are getting hotter by the hour and are expecting our orders at any moment. I have a feeling this letter is very jerky after the pattern of my thoughts. You'll have to excuse me, sweetheart, but it's because I'm very weary and it's an effort to think straight. It is now close to 11 p.m. and time I was hitting the hay. I don't think I'll have any trouble falling asleep tonight. Please try to send the snaps. Kiss the little angel for her lonesome daddy. I adore you as always, my lovely. Hasta mañana. I'll say good night, my love. My love to all. Sleepily, your Phil. P.S. Sorry, honey, but I just couldn't find the time to shop for Mother's Day cards so you'll understand why they are late in arriving. It's so much less than what I had hoped to contribute. Please forgive me, sweet, and ask my mom and yours to forgive me too. I love you all.